Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are on our way to court. We are going to rent escrow court. Um, so before I dive into the details, please go ahead and like and subscribe and um, let's get to it. So as you may know, we're going through an eviction process with our current horrible tenant. and. Um, uh, so we suspect that she's damaging the property. She hasn't paid rent in since July of 2021. Uh, not because of COVID, because she refuses to pay rent uh, as a retaliation for giving her a non-renewal of lease. Um, you know, we're going through the legal channels and stuff, but she brought us to rent escrow court because she claims that we refuse to uh, make repairs on the property. Uh, we have ample of proof, ample, ample of proof through text communication, through email communication, where she refuses to listen into the property to address maintenance issues. You know, uh, as a business, we have maintenance tickets and you know there's a process if you need something to be fixed there's a process we need to be aware of it we need to be known about it the maintenance report clearly states signs of tempering so in other words the doors were ripped off the hinges the doorknob was completely unscrewed off the door i mean this is not uh, this is clearly someone in that property in our house is purposely putting away putting down doors so another cautionary tale guys here is that if, when you have a tenant and the moment your tenant in there starts to bring up weird repairs or weird stuff of like you got to fix this if something is weird along the lines of repair and maintenance be like warning bells warning bells get your non-renewal of lease ready because they're gonna take it to escrow and possibly possibly prevent you from evicting them for at least six months uh, down the line. Um, but anyway, so here we are. We're on our way to court. Um, this is the court hearing to make sure that we have fixed um, fixed the doors that the court told us to fix. However, even the tenant, the tenant refused to let the court appointed inspector inside the property because in other for in order for the court to do this due process, this, the inspector still has to go in and make sure that we actually fix what we were told to fix. And uh, as uh, as you know, yesterday the, the 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 court inspector called us and said that the tenant won't let us in, and we're like, "Welcome to our world." That's exactly what we've been dealing with. This horrible tenant of ours complains, but she won't let us into the property and to the point where she's physically stopping us from entering the property. The only time we got in is when we threatened to get inside with police escort. So the court appointed inspector couldn't do her job. And I mean, to tell you the truth, I don't know why she, I don't know why she went in to inspect the night before the court day, but whatever, it's courts, they're slow, they're weird, all right? Anyway, so um, the night before the court day, the court appointed inspector tries to go in and do the inspection. The tenant refuses to let the court appointed inspector inside. The court appointed inspector calls us to let us know that she won't let her in. And we're like, well, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you're the court appointed inspector. You're like, what do you want, what do you want us to do, right? She won't let you in. What do you want us to do? So um, the inspector asked us to give her a 24 hour notice and then she'll try again tomorrow, um, the day after the court date. And just to give you an idea how, what the fuck is wrong with the court system? Anyway, so we're going to, we're going today to a court has court hearing without the inspection of a court appointed inspector. Which means that we don't know if a court is gonna be delayed, we don't know if our hearing is gonna be delayed, we don't know what the hell is gonna happen, you know, um, but, here we are. So we have to show up, and um, and uh, also when we gave her the 24-hour notice, she pretty much replied saying, "Get the fuck out! You're not coming into my house." And here's the thing: to any deadbeat tenants out there, it isn't your house; it's your home, but it's our property. So the concept that you own this piece of property, get it out of your head. If you want this house, you go get your own damn mortgage and you buy your own place. 
it's completely ridiculous and it's out of control you know um so here we are so you know what when we get out we'll give you another update when we get there as to what happened from court and uh hopefully she won't show up uh she seemed highly irresponsible um but but she's trying not to get evicted and you know what if i could stay somewhere and not pay rent yeah i would try also not to get evicted uh, but her strategy of sorry her strategy of using the rent escrow to stop her tenant holdover won't work because we gave her the non-renewal of lease in June and she put a rent escrow as a retaliation in August so um, good luck with that tenant uh, anyway so we'll keep we'll, 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 we'll keep you up posted we'll keep you updated on uh, how this whole thing unfolds uh, stay tuned and um, I'll get back here on the video to show you and tell you what happened from the rent escrow hopefully hopefully it's good news man I definitely think that I definitely think that she's damaging the property even some more and she's gonna go if she shows up she's gonna go in there with a whole new list of stuff that's damaged and you know what if, if the judge just takes her word for it without without asking her did you let the landlord know I don't I don't understand the courts I really don't understand it's like it's uh, it's stupidity at this point it's like rewarding rewarding deadbeats and there's there's nothing there's nothing more irritating than that you know anyway see you soon with the update so escrow dismissed so the, let me tell you what happened. So we arrive, and uh, so to give you a quick recap, right? So the the tenant refused to let the court inspector inside to do their job, and um, and of course, luckily for us, the, the appointed court inspector who was denied entry was also in court, and it was an amazing judge. Love the fucking judge. But so this is what happened. So we arrive in court and we sign up, uh, you know, you, you check in and stuff. And then the clerk tells us that the tenant filed a motion to get the uh, to get the um, uh, to get the, the, the court postponed because she believes she was exposed to COVID. Let me tell you something right now. This is another tactics that deadbeat tenants use to try to break to, to break to, to break the system. Right? Is that they they take you to escrow because undeservingly and then and then they postpone this shit with COVID for as much as they can and so obviously we told the clerk and the judge that she used the excuse before remember at some point when we tried to do the inspection she used the whole exposure to COVID she used that excuse before to prevent people from going in so then what happened um, when we sat down and we started you know we were you know everybody sits down it takes for look courts are fucking slow but anyway it's not their fault I, I apologize for cursing too much because this is really a very contentious this is like a thorn on my side on our side because it's just the audacity of someone and this is a single mother this is someone that's supposed to lead by example do you understand the audacity that that behavior is even acceptable in, in someone's personal morals like this is just shit you know, and I don't I don't put up with shit. I don't like shit. I don't I don't hang out with shit. I don't want nothing to do with shit. So for me, anything that's shit related is flushed down the fucking toilet. Okay, so yes, I am freaking pissed, frustrated, but very happy that the escrow um, was dismissed. And uh, <laughs> look, Chris is right here. We're like celebrating. Anyway, um, why was it dismissed? So we show up at the at the table or whatever at the bench, and uh, the judge is like, "Well, you know, she said she wants to be dismissed, and she was about to grant uh, the postponement." And and we're like, "No, no, no, no! She used that before. Here are all the items that we fixed according to what the court ordered." Now the previous judge, who was a complete lamer, actually allowed allowed the the the. I guess the inspection to go through because the only thing that was wrong with the property according to the inspector was doorknobs doorknobs where in the world are doorknobs 
a threat to someone's life. The fact that the first judge did not dismiss this case right there and then really is not an irritating factor. But I'm so glad this judge, who's a woman, um, women are better than men, come at me. Anyway, so no, I'm so glad this judge saw right through the situation because she was she even looked at it and said, doorknobs? Like, what, why is this case even here? Like, you could tell on her face. She's like, did you fix the doorknobs? We're like, yeah, we did. And we have the pictures to prove it. And furthermore, um, by the request of the court-appointed inspector, we gave the tenant a 24-hour notice to inspect because obviously the inspector was like, we need to get in. So we gave her a 24-hour notice of, of, a, of a inspection um, that's due tomorrow, the next day. And she replied in the email, like a dumbbell that she is, in writing, saying that, oh, um, nope, I'm not letting you in. I'm not letting anyone in. And um, so we showed that to the judge, and the judge was like, was like, this is dismissed. And the judge dismissed the case. The judge dismissed her motion, dismissed the case. And I think, and I don't know if I heard it correctly because everybody was wearing masks, I think she also didn't allow her to file more escrow I'm not sure on that one if anybody who's a lawyer or knows the law can comment down, down below and let, and let me know but we won our first battle into this war to getting this deadbeat tenant out of our property and um, so we'll see we'll see how that goes um, so we have a tenant holding over uh, court coming up soon uh, I do not expect the tenant to keep the property in good standing so we'll have a video to show you what the inside looks like I'm not even worried because you know what's gonna happen so we're going to do an insurance claim of course she damages severely we have a rental insurance which we're going to sue the hell out of that and we're also gonna sue the hell out of her if for all the damages so the fact that she thinks that she can just walk in there blase act like a fool and not have any repercussions shows you shows you how stupid i don't know i don't want to call it stupid because i don't believe in that i think I, I don't i don't believe that people are stupid i think people are misinformed and so um i don't know who is informing her or advising her but her counsel is less than smart and um and a, a little a little part of me feels terrible a little part of me feels bad as much as my frustration is very outward a part of me feels really bad because because we, this, this, this is, this was or this is our first property, and we were going to spoil the hell out of her. She was a single mother. I'm black. I'm pro-black, and I was like, I want to help. I want to help the statistics. You know, single mothers, single African American mothers were the most affected in this pandemic, specifically into housing. And I was like, nope, nope. If I have a possibility to make a difference, I'm gonna help the single moms. And I mean, we were talking about how like, we're not gonna raise the rent on her, we're gonna into, I mean, when she moved in, we gave her a care package. We were ready to bend over backwards for her. But you know what she did? She messed it up for the next person because now, the, now as a first time, t as a first time landlord with starry eyes, she ruined it. She ruined it for the next one. And unfortunately, I don't. I think it was very naive of us and very not business-minded of us to go in thinking that we were going to be nice. And, uh, and cautionary tale, if you're a landlord, the first thing you want to do is you want to make the tenant prove to you that they are worthy of any consideration. You got to go in there business first, only and always. After three or four years of being a good tenant, then you can start being human. But until then, it's all business. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, of course, for some of you, you might feel a certain kind of way with the way I'm speaking or the passion I'm expressing. Maybe maybe you're a tenant, maybe you're a deadbeat tenant yourself and you feel a certain kind of way. Uh, I don't care. I really don't care because you know what? It's our property, it's our investment, it's our money, it's our sweat, it's our hard work, okay? And there's nobody out there who's going to come in and make an, give an opinion on, on our sweat and tears, you know? So if you think I'm a horrible person, I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm not passionate, 100%. 
Do I, regret, do I feel sorry or regret about it? Absolutely not. Am I doing it? Yes, I will do it again. And, um, and that's that. Okay? Thank you for watching. See you next time on the next episode. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to record every time we have something to do with this tenant. I'm going to pick up this phone and record it. All right? But we had a win today. We won. We won. We won. Escrow dismissed. Escrow dismissed. Tenant holdover is next. You're screwed, tenant. <laughs>